are you all doing? So we're doing it in live, right? <laughs> Actually, like I earlier mentioned, we're just gonna interact a bit more and talk about how we can handle fear, looking at what has been going on in the nation. So to help me understand or to help me talk about this topic, I am gonna invite a very special friend of ours as Movers and Shakers Global. We are gonna get to interact with Mr. Ignatius Mulenga. Mr. Ignatius, please come through, sir. <laughs> so he's going to get to introduce himself and we'll just interact a bit more and just know how exactly he has been able to handle his fear. <laughs> so this is our special, special friend and guest today. Mr. Ignatius, please come through to Greek Movers and Shakers. We are live. Thank you very okay. much for joining us. Thank you. Yes, yes. So yes. tell us a bit about yourself. What do you do? Oh, wonderful. I'm um, uh, Ignatius Mulenga, um, a gospel artist, as well as a preacher man. Yeah, as um, and a businessman as well. Yeah, I do a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> Nation. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. People are being abducted. People are missing. Like, how would you explain this situation? How have you been able to handle yeah. fear? As a physically challenged person. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, you know, I just like I introduced myself, but uh, I'm a believer. Uh, you know, I've um, overcome fear. Uh, you know, when you're in the presence of God, most of the times you need to make sure that you're connected to God. That's number one, connected to God. When you're connected to God, all things are possible. Yes, of course. Uh, of course, there are some killings in and there, but uh, you know, when you are, we should with the word of God, and uh, God protects, of course. Uh, of course, you need also to protect yourself. Of course, you know, they say, you know, God helps those people help themselves. So you need to make sure that you are protected. You don't have to go to certain places, which you know that uh, in this place, maybe uh, something bad can happen to you, you know? And um, when you are doing that, uh, fear will come out of you. And uh, of course, uh, you know, this fear sometimes, it, sometimes fear can kill us. Instead of us, you know, be killed by these uh, people are killing people, people are these people adapting people. When you put so much fear in you, the fear itself can kill you. Because when you are thinking, even by walking, you are because you are scared. You just find a stone and then you, you, you hit there. You, by the time you are you are take, you are being taken to the hospital, pronounced you dead because of that fear. So, uh, children of God, most important thing you need to. Uh, make sure that you understand that you, in all in all, you need to be closer to God in the praises of God. Read the Bible, read, read the Bible. What kind of music do you listen to? Ah, there, that's another issue. Keep on listening to Ignatius Mulenga's music, it will lift your soul, it will co con connect you, you to the Lord. And other gospel artists, of course, there are so many music which can make you so at you, you be become disconnected from the things. Of the world which can bring fear within your, your yourself so that's this is why i've managed myself to you know to stay away from fear and i i become connected to god and uh, uh, of course uh, what type what type of people are you found with also it's also matter there are certain friends who can be found with friends who will give you certain stories which will make you to have that fear within you yourself and uh and there are certain people are just fault finders they will just say they won't talk about you know bad things every time they don't talk about positive things and uh those things will bring fear within you so i've chosen good friends who talk about positive things so for me to overcome fear just like you have made my friend grace hallelujah what a powerful lady you know you know she has really encouraged me in so many ways uh today we have met and uh, fear, overcome fear in those lines. Yes, yes, madam. Okay, looking at your condition, uh, you're, you're in this situation where you're using crutches and whatnot. So maybe from that perspective, how have you managed to overcome? Because you are a preacher man, you are a musician. Like there's phobia. People are scared of, you know, going public, you know, speaking publicly, public speaking and whatnot. Looking at your condition, obviously, many would find themselves being intimidated and be scared like okay like why am i doing this how am i going to preach as a person who's in this condition how am i going to sing as a person who's in this condition so how have you managed in that angle and what words do you have for fellow physically challenged persons out there wonderful wonderful very important question um it has been it hasn't been easy for me uh, to go out there and uh, do the work of god 
uh, because of uh, the condition. You know, the society has um, actually, you know, put the portrait to say person with disabilities who cannot do anything in society, which is a very disadvantaged thing. And this thing is there, uh, even in the society, in the community, it's everywhere. You know, when you, when you just see even kids, when they look at uh, a disabled person, they will uh, passing from the road. They, will, they want to come and see, who is this man? Why is this man walking like this? Even the kids also, they have that perception to say, who is this person? Because they don't, if they do understand that there's this kind of people in society, even the kids cannot behave like that. So the society has taken us in a, in a different way. But this God can be trusted. Hallelujah. Are you going to say amen for me? This society has been actually, uh, this God has been a very wonderful God in my life because um, every time whatever I want to do I pray to God that God gives me courage it's a courage you know the courage you cannot just get it from anywhere but from the above God has given me a certain courage where I talk when I talk and people listen hallelujah and people listen I said ah this is coming from the Lord so I can encourage my other person's ability to say you know do not lose hope there is hope for tomorrow Keep on believing the Lord. Keep on doing what God wants. Don't just say, because you have got the gift and for the talent, then you sit down and say, people laugh at me when I move out. You know, when I do this, people laugh at me. If you think like that in your mind, you will, ne you will not achieve your goal. Just say, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to achieve my goal. Today, God is going to answer me. Or tomorrow, God will answer me. Or the other day, God will answer me. He's a God who answers by fire and will answer you. And I, by prayer for you, He will answer you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, this is what we're going to. You've heard it all. We've heard it from Him. Fear shouldn't be part of us. Even as well abled people, both physically challenged, well abled, let us just do life with so much energy. In as much as a lot is going on in our country, like we mentioned, let us just be in that place where we are determined to do excellent things. We are determined to focus in this life. So from me, Grace, Movers and Shakers, we love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you.